Hey guys, Smart Ninja 000 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a new Discord bot. So the first thing you need to do is go to discordapp.com, um, and you want to make it. Um, now we will be writing this in Python, uh, and that is extremely important to know, uh, simply because if you don't know how to use Python, it's not too difficult. Don't worry, uh, but you you should know how to. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be teaching you how to use Python, so. Uh, if you have any Python related questions, I guess you can ask in the comments, but really, if it's how to use Python, don't ask. Um, anyways, you should know Python. I'm not going to teach you Python. You can kind of figure it out even if you don't know Python, but it's not too bad. Python's pretty easy, but do figure But yeah. Anyways, uh, applicate. So you'll go to Discord uh, slash developers slash applications. Um, and you just want to, you know, fill out some stuff. So we're going to give it a name, uh, give it an icon, uh, save, uh, make, and then we want to go to bot, add a bot, make it a bot, give it a name. Uh, then you want to copy over here. You want to copy this client ID. Well, actually don't. You want to get in the description, you'll get this nice, nice little thing. Now you want to copy your client ID, and where it says bot uh, client ID, you just want to put that in. Open up this cool little icon. Uh, you want to select server, authorize, and of course, I'm assuming you're not a robot. If you are a robot, leave a like. And once you're authorized, you can close it. Now if Again, I'm not going to teach you how to use Python, but you should have Python installed. Um, so, do that. Uh, for this tutorial, um, we are going to be using Python 3.6.4. Uh, don't have to use that, but you do have to use a version that's obviously compatible with discord.py. Um, API in the description. Uh, we're not going to be writing in the rewrite in case you're curious. So, and if you don't have Discord.py, you can install uh, install it uh, with this on Windows. With this, and that just goes in command prompt, which you find by searching CMD. Um, and again, this is kind of a Windows tutorial, so sorry, Linux slash Max. So you have your bot created. You know Discord, you have it installed, everything's good. Again, these will be linked in the description, don't worry. You're gonna to wanna to open up idle, and you're welcome, I bumped up the font size for you. We're gonna create a new file, uh, and we're gonna just get started. First thing you wanna do is it's a Python file. You wanna start with a shebang, obviously, right guys and gals? Don't have to do that. The in case you don't know, just someone someone's going to be confused why we even have the hashtag. These are comments. Comments go to the end of the line. I'm not going to teach Python, but I am going to teach it basically. Anyways, we're going to just we're just going to yep, we're going to advertise me. Um, this will this file will be hopefully in the description um, somewhere you'll be able to find it somewhere first thing you're gonna want to do is import discord kind of basic if you don't know what import statements do please go learn Python uh, and we're gonna do a few more imports just to make it easier on ourselves. Uh, these from aren't really needed, but you need them. All right, so we're going to define the client, and this is just, you, you don't really need this. I mean, you don't really need anything, but um, it's good. So this line, uh, we define the client, and we also define the bot, and these are going to be used for running events. Now, Personally, I don't think I've ever actually used client, but it is still good, good to have in case you do. Uh, the bot's like the better version of it. 
Um, anyways, uh, command. Anyways, we're gonna make a bot, which is um, we're gonna make a object. We're gonna make a variable bot, which is a uh, like in the bot class. Uh, I think that's how it works, um, and then it takes the argument commands underscore prefix. Um, and this is pretty simple. This is what you want your prefix to be. And also, you'll notice it uses the snake case. A lot of the stuff in this does use snake case, which I am not a fan of, but deal with it. All right, so anyways, our, we're gonna use a plus sign as our prefix for this. It could be anything you want. Super simple, super easy. And the next thing you're going to want to do, this is totally optional, uh, but this is your, that there shouldn't have been a, that there, uh, is we're going to make an on ready. So once the bot is online, what do we want to do? And we're going to print something out. And you might think, oh, this is how the bot, um, uh, this is how the bot talks. No, it's not. Print, we'll go to your console, uh, your terminal, whatever. It will not, again, it will not, it's not how the bot talks. So this will just say your bot is online. This is pretty useful if you want to see if your bot's online. Uh, I, it's just good to have. Basically, it's a way of saying no errors occurred. Um, anyways, we also have bot.command, and it's async def, the name of your command. We're not going to call it that. We're going to call it ping. Um, any arguments to there's a helicopter any arguments takes doesn't really need any um, actually we are going to pat put this back on there uh, you'll see why in a little bit um, but this you definitely need this not so much anyways now we can uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is write a comment about what it is and this is not actually a comment this is a string underneath it just kind of giving us some information uh, you're going to want to make it using the triple just because that looks better I think so do it and it again obviously it's Python you can use three of these or those and we're going to use these because I like these better um, all right let's talk about the bot And all right, and now here's the uh, ready for it. And then to get the bot to speak, so wait dot say un helicopter stop. Uh, wait bot dot say hey, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Leave a uh, like if this tutorial helped. Obviously, this is a bit long, so you guys should know Python by now. And at the very bottom, you want bot.run. I'm gonna give it. This is the part where you, this is kind of scary. You got a token. This gives you access to the bot. Me making this video reveals that token. No one? All right, guys, first off, if, if you really wanna try and hack this bot, go ahead, put your time into copying this and running based on my bot, but I'm gonna, oh my goodness. I'm gonna get rid of this bot, which by the way is, you can always regenerate a new token. You don't have to, but. Anyways, you wanna run it. And there you go. Uh, you will notice, give it a second, the bot will be online. Go into Discord. Our bot is there. It's in the Discord server, working. All you have to do is just write, we use plus I think. Uh, whoa, why are we zoomed out so far? That's a little bit too close, personal. Uh, plus help will generate this, which is actually what SmartBot uses, in case you didn't know, SmartBot's written in Python. It's my Discord bot. My server, link in the description, join it. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, so it's plus and ping. And there you go. Um, and there, that's it. And that did exactly what we asked for. Uh, now. I have taught you how to do the most basic thing ever. That's it.
Uh, you can do a lot more complicated stuff, but we're not doing that in today's video. If you guys would like more complicated stuff, smash like button right now. Leave a comment. Say, I would like more complicated stuff. If you have any special things that you would like specifically, you can also ask for that. Helicopters need to stop. Anyways, that's it, and I realized I recorded this without me being in streamer mode. No one friend me. Just join my Discord server. Actually, I don't think you can. I think I returned off friend requests. Anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Smash like. You can click one of the cards on screen to go do that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing. You know, nah, nah, we'll save that for a different video. Anyways. Uh, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you in one. Bye.